Is it, is it true that as our Israel thought, and maybe the whole world thought, that the true sort of fortifications and the headquarters of Hamas would be in the north of Gaza? And it turns out that that anticipation was not entirely correct, and that's why the focus is shifting to the south. Is that what has happened, that, that the tentacles of Hamas were far wider spread than realised? I'm not sure about uh, this analysis, and I would just like to bring another point of view. Uh, the main headquarters of Hamas is in the northern part of Gaza. And we just saw the images from the Shifa hospital. And we had uh, uh, um, evidence from doctors who served there in the Shifa hospital, a British doctor mentioning that Hamas prevented him to go for a certain area in the hospital because if he would go, he would be murdered. And this is part of the situation. So we do understand that Hamas used it during October 7th, before, and in the last few weeks as the main center for sending rockets, for sending terrorist attacks into Israel. But more than that, most of these terrorists fled down to the south as the IDF started to work intensively to make sure that collateral damage will not happen and send messages, call phones for civilians in, in Gaza, asking them to go south. And the one that could go saved their life, but unfortunately many and thousands of terrorists joined them. And of course, including most of the Israeli uh, Hamas is using again and again their people as human shield. Before that, in the northern part of Gaza, right down in the south part of Gaza. And Hamas can solve this situation very easily. It can just release the hundreds of Israeli held and go out with white flags, and they will save the Palestinian people. But right now, stand behind Hamas fire. And this is part of the major part of this problem. And of course, there's an awful lot of propaganda being. Uh, perpetrated around the world and an awful lot of doubt every single time. In fact, on this program, I say anything at all. I say claimed by the Israelis say so. Hamas claims this and claims that. And, and most ordinary people watching and listening really don't know whether what they're being told is true or isn't true. And of course, one of the things that a real question mark hung over was, was it or was it not true that Al-Shifa Hospital, nursery schools, other hospitals in Gaza were or were not being being used as headquarters or fortifications by uh, Hamas, who were using the most vulnerable people, children, babies, the sick, to act as human shields. And there's been enormous amounts of conversation about whether it's true and whether it's not true. Would you say conclusively Israel has now proved and shown that it is true, that the footage of the tunnels, the arms, the abandoned baby bottles, and everything we've just seen today, which we've been showing while we've been talking? As a very professional journalist, I think part of the problem that we face, and this is the struggle we have as an Israeli, that all, although we provide an evidence and we saw in the last few days many evidence, including videos, and of course, real evidence of tunneling Gaza, images of hostages being taken to the Shifa hospital. But still there is a question about the validity and the confirmation of the Israeli sources. While when Hamas launched uh, and, and, uh, and uh, the forces launched and rocket on Palestinian people in Gaza and killed people and Israel was automatically accused, nobody verified Hamas over the media. Right now, when there is an evidence, when there is even BBC correspondent entering the hospital with the IDF forces, showing them standing, then to an, standing next to an MRI system, seeing rifles of Hamas on the floor, and then people still ask a question, does Hamas use this hospital as part of their headquarters? I think the answer is clear. And the thing that hurt me is why does the media cannot stand by Israel when Israel showing evidence, while Hamas is not showing any evidence and always been backed by the international media? Well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for joining us and thank you for asking such an important question.